All right, so in this video, we'll hear a little bit about what's up next for Shashua. So I'm curious, Shashua, what's one thing at work that you're excited about in the upcoming year? Oh, I guess it's something that all of us are kind of excited about. Uh, with my project specifically, we like build things for cars. And during COVID, people don't necessarily drive as much as they used to. So looking forward to some sense of normalcy returning. And, you know, of course, the world going back to normal in itself is an exciting thing. Uh, it's also a bonus that, you know, our, what we are doing will be more useful to more people. And we get more feedback on like, you know, here's what to improve on, like here's what's useful, here's what, here's what to keep and, and just like be quicker and more data driven than now where we have to like make decisions with intuition mostly. So that's exciting. And I could see you know, our working style change a lot based on that. I haven't, you know, been in a car myself. I've been in a car that we built for in a long time. Like I haven't seen it, I haven't sat in it. And that's exciting to get back to. Almost that feeling of reconnecting with, you know, the physical product that you're you're building for, mm -hmm. as well as the people who are engaging in that. There's a sense that COVID has created a distance, and so that opportunity to get back into the the driver's seat, yeah. <laughs> literally, yeah. Yeah. there. Yeah, get back into the passenger seat. You know, have have enough of our users be on the driver's seat, and like you just like observing what they do, you know, observing if like, the pain points are and so on. Even if you know it's negative, it's still oh wow, like, this is a person. This is something that's like I can see the impact right in front of me, and that's very fulfilling. Like I Google my previous products too. Like, when you visit people who are using what you're building, I think the level of satisfaction is really high compared to you know sure numbers are good, but you know you can see numbers in the millions, you know, but they don't really become concrete without you seeking them out and like you know physically observing them. Yeah, and that sense of being able to point to that and saying, I built that. See that person using that? I built that. There's something really cool about that. That's like, you point to a number on a graph and you're like, see, I made that yeah. graph. Yeah, well, I orchestrated people and indirectly helped build that thing. Yeah, yeah. either there you go. <laughs> <laughs> I indirectly contributed to the efforts that generated that. No, I'll build that. <laughs> yeah, which is better. Nobody, you know, equally valuable. Yeah. Yeah, well, and it just really is that opportunity to actually impact the end user or the end customer is really important, right? You're building for someone. And so it's nice to hear how much that lands for you and how once that's easier to see again, it will be really exciting. Yes, 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 uh, 100%. I think in, during COVID, everyone probably like is facing um, questions about motivation, right? Like because not being around people, like not, not seeing people, um, and not seeing, you know, the impact of your work directly can kind of get a little bit like disconcert or disconcerting. Yeah, well, and just the amount that things are two dimensional like this, right? That being able to step back into the three dimensional world is going to be yeah. nice. It's on its yeah. way. <laughs> Hopefully. <laughs> Well, Shashua, thank you so much for taking the time to, to do this. It's really helpful for folks to, just to get knowledge on career paths and how folks think about them. Anything else you would want to share with folks who are on a sort of journey and looking at what's next in their career? Anything you'd have to say to them? Yeah, um, my, so if, if I had to say one thing, I would say, don't be intimidated. My background isn't necessarily in computer science. It wasn't in computer science for a long time. But, you know, I've heard people who have only done it for a few months. But in those few months, like, if you really think that, if you really find that you have an interest for it, that's, that might be enough. Right? And, that, and that's like all you need. So it is, it is very easy to be intimidated, but, you know, like having some confidence in yourself, if you believe that you might be interested in it, having the confidence really helps. Yeah, well, I'm taking that interest and saying, okay, I'm going to take that challenge and that swing and try to go for that big opportunity, even if it is intimidating, having the confidence and the willingness to do that. Yeah, yeah, and fail, failing. It, I've failed a number of times, you know, not all projects have gone well, and that's okay. I mean, Google is also a place where you can fail. I don't know if you felt the same thing when you were working there, but you, you do see, you know, people trying 
a number of things, even in in public, the kinds of things we put out, like a lot of them get shut down at the end. So, you know, it's a learning experience. It's okay to fail. And it's okay to like, to think that, oh no, like I, I wasn't able to do X or Y and that's okay. Yeah, well, and it's an interesting observation, you know, that Google has product lines that have been visibly shut down because I think often when folks are looking for jobs and they get a rejection, right? They send out an application, they get a rejection. They're like, well, I'm done, you know, I'm out. And it's like, yeah. oh, like, these big enterprises fail all the time. And so too with our career decisions. Sometimes we go down paths that aren't gonna work and that's expected and known and part of the process. Yeah. You know, something that didn't work out today might be a big hit tomorrow. You see that with social media, right? Like you had these social networks in the beginning that didn't quite get traction. And then, you know, a few, few years later, the world is more prepared for them. And they've just like improved it just a little bit. So you might just need a tiny bit of more work and I think that only comes like if you have that belief in yourself. Yeah. Well, and I'm, I'm gonna, you know, just pause and, and stop on that, that like believing in yourself if you're excited about something. Ah, oh, what an awesome thing to leave folks with. So I'm excited about that. <laughs> Love, it. Love it, Tori. Well, thanks again, Joshua. And for those of you who have watched this, thank you for spending time with us. I hope you've gotten some information that helps you on your career path. And again, if you want to learn about ways to work with me, check out the links below and subscribe if you want to hear about other career paths that we've got coming up. So thanks so much to Shashwat again. Thanks to folks for watching. Uh, I hope you've gotten some information that's been of use and take care.